So here's the basic concept. You have five panels. These are really cheapies. They go on sale for $8.99. Uh, they're 125 milliamps. Probably somewhere around 20 volts. Made for charging uh, 12 volt batteries. All ran in parallel. So you got somewhere on a theoretical 9 watts. More realistically 5 or 6 watts. Amorphous panels. And this is just a garden battery. Okay, and with nothing hooked up, you can see it's just the that's a standing state it is about 12.57 volts. Okay. Okay, now we have the solar panel. You can see all those leads tie into this one double, and it runs around over to here to the multimeter. Okay, so you have 21.9 volts. And you can see now on a dead short, open circuit, 400 milliamps. Okay, so here we have the Slayer exciter coil. Uh, running with the fatter primary and an IRF 730 FET, 600K on the base. And it's really hard to see the bulbs illuminate, but they do, and when they do, drawing almost put an amp. You can see that. Draws like four amps if the circuit doesn't fire. And it's pretty hot too. Because it's sitting in the sun too. Okay, so here we have the circuit running. As you can see here. Turn just under an amp. Okay, so now get to the crunch of what I'm talking about. Now I have, you can see over here where this wire comes in is to my negative. My positive runs over to this side of the ammeter. Okay. The load side of the ammeter is over there. So I'll move this ammeter a bit so you can see it a little better. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch this lead here, which is the hot side of the solar panel. Okay. I'll let you see what happens here. See that? That's about 200 and 250 milliamps. Right, and like I say, it's hard to see, but I don't know if that's going to come up on the video. It's so bright outside right now, but but it is working. It is oscillating. So that's the Slayer running right off of solar, straight up solar. And once again. At about 250 milliamps. Okay, so put all that together, what does it mean? When a solar panel charges a battery, okay, if the battery is charged, the energy can be shunted somewhere. If you've got a, uh, a typical shunt controller, it's usually shunted to a resistor. All right now, why wouldn't you shunt your solar energy to create light inside of buildings in dark spots? Or, even more intelligent, to augment light for indoor growing of uh, vegetables and stuff. So you charge your battery all day with your solar panels so that you can turn around, use your battery, to create your light at night. But, 
on top of that when your batteries are charged you have a shunt regulation circuit uh, and then instead of going to a load it goes to a Slayer tower and runs it runs it live and you can see in this demonstration the exact same configuration with no modifications can run both 12 and a half volts at about an amp or 20 volts at about 400 milliamps I didn't have to change it so it could have been switched so that's 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 my concept Okay, so now that it's nighttime, I can show you how this thing runs in the dark. We got two 15 watt fluoros, and I'm still running it on the uh, IRF 740, or 730 rather. And uh, right now I've got this light going up there, so I'm gonna turn it on. Set my camera to night. And and now I'll turn this off. So this gives you uh, it's probably a lot looks a lot darker in this video than it than it actually is. It's not too bad to walk around I can see everything around my feet and stuff so you know it's uh, it's definitely definitely lit up pretty good looks really dark in the video but I mean it's totally adequate light to to see your beverage 20 feet away or definitely not trip on anything that sort of thing so that's it and that's uh, five or six hours of that e an evening could be replenished by a full day of sun so it's a good good outdoor lamp